Zara was a happy child. She was just beginning to walk, just beginning to talk. She was 14 months when she became ill. My daughter passed away 15 years ago of pneumococcal meningitis and we were able to donate her organs. It was just, your world, my world had fallen apart. And I thought, I don't want another mum to go through what I'm going through right now. Cause I, it was just, everything had been taken away from me. I don't know how the subject of organ donation came up, but when it was brought up, it was a decision that we were gonna do. There was no way I was gonna be swayed on this one. <laughs> if we were gonna donate her all, if we were allowed to, if we were allowed to. Zara has donated her heart to a little girl that would have died that night and one lobe of her liver to a three months old baby that had never left hospital. The fact that these two girls are alive because of Zara is just amazing, unbelievable. I do get to hear annually how the two girls are doing. It's been a great, huge comfort to the whole family that Zara did donate her organs. The decision um, you make yourself to go on the organ donor register, if you don't tell your family, they can still override your decision. But if you actually tell your family, at least they know what you want. They know your decision and what your feelings are on organ donation. I was over the moon about the heart. I really, I was really glad that her heart had been donated into to another child. Really glad because her heart's still beating. <laughs>